Hi fans and welcome to this WPIAL quarterfinal edition of the Woodland Hills Football Network pregame show. Last week the Wolverines defeated the North Hills Indians 27-7 to advance to the WPIAL quarterfinals. We're going to sit down with Woodland Hills head coach George Novak to talk about last week's win over North Hills. We'll also talk to him about this week's game against the Gateway Gators. And we'll also let you know where you can tune into this week's game all across the Woodland Hills Football Network. All of that and more as the pregame show rolls on right here on WHHS TV. Again, fans, we thank you for joining us for this WPIAL quarterfinal edition of the Woodland Hills Football Network pregame show. We're now sitting down with Woodland Hills head coach George Novak. And Coach Novak, before we talk about this week's quarterfinal matchup against Gateway, let's take a look back to last week's first round victory over North Hills. A very convincing win, and your defense pitched a shutout. Yeah, Adam, I think the boys played real well. You know, they got the playoff atmosphere and attitude. They worked hard at practice. And we played a very good North Hills team. Uh, I don't think the score was in indicative of the type of game it was. Both teams came out, they played very well. Uh, I was real proud of our defense. I thought they did an exceptional job with all the misdirection and different types of double passes and things that uh, North Hills tried to throw at us. Uh, defensively, uh, their game plan was to take away our passing game. They double covered Tom Green, our top receiver, and had three guys on the other receivers. So. That allowed us to run the ball a little bit inside. Had a little trouble in the first uh, first quarter, really, getting the ball rolling. But uh, after the first quarter, we started moving the ball offensively. And uh, special teams and the defense played exceptional. Talking about the defense, Jawan Turner had an excellent football game. Yeah, Jawan Turner's an outstanding athlete. You know, both sides of the ball on special teams. Uh, he's always around the ball. You can't find a better player in the WPIL. And I, I think he's just having a great year. You know, he leads the team in sacks and tackles behind the line of scrimmage. He's our long snapper. Uh, he plays guard on offense, does a great job. You know, he's, he's all over the field. And, uh, you know, couldn't ask for more from him. He's a, he's a team captain and one of our leaders. And he's an outstanding student in school and has great uh, SAT score too. So. Uh, we're real proud of Juwan and his brother Julian and you know, everything they've done for Woodland Hills. Coach, looking back to that game against Upper St. Clair the first week of the season, did you think that Miles Sanders would be the running back he is today? Well, you know, watching him last year on the junior high team, he was only in eighth grade. And we knew he had some special talent, some special speed, but you can't tell when you get in with varsity guys that are older and bigger how he was going to do. And you know, he, he didn't have a great game that first game, but he had a great effort, and we really didn't give him much blocking. I think uh, Upper St. Clair was well prepared that day, and you know, although you know they had just come off the WPL championship game from the year before, they had a lot of guys back, and their quarterback was back, and a lot of guys on defense. Our kids played hard, and you know, for three quarters we were winning 12-10. Uh, so. You know, that fourth quarter killed us that game. But, you know, Miles got better every week after that. I think that was his uh, coming out day. And it, it, they made it a tough day for him, but he didn't give up and he ran hard. Well, he should, certainly did run hard against North Hills, that's for sure. Yeah, he had a great day. Coach, talking about the special teams, yet again, Jordan Potter comes out on the field, bangs a 45-yarder. It was our play of the game last week. It is incredible the kind of leg he has. I bet you wish he would have joined the team a long time ago. Yeah, Jordan has come out, you know, kind of a quiet guy. You know, he's getting along with all the kids. They know each other from school and, you know, played well on the soccer team. And I don't try to push anybody on the soccer team to come out and kick if they want to kick. But uh, he was a guy I asked a couple of times, and he's always showed like he was interested, but he never really came down to the stadium. And, you know, after a couple of games, he came down and started kicking. And I said, told him, I said, a little work, Jordan. You could be a pretty good kicker. And, you know, he just has a lot stronger leg. Uh, and uh, he, could, he can make those long field goals. I think the University of Pittsburgh could have used them last week. <laughs> That's for sure. That is for sure. Coach, talk about the rivalry between the Wolverines and the Gators. It dates back to the uh, 
beginnings of Woodland Hills here at the Wolverine back in 1987. Haven't played them since the 09 championship game, but there have been a lot of great games between Woodland Hills and Gateway. Yeah, you know, Gateway in an all sports is a rivalry, just like Penn Hills and Central Catholic and McKee Sport. They border us. Uh, a lot of the guys that are on our team are related to guys on their teams. So, you know, I think, you know, the four or five schools here, they were the nucleus of the Quad East when we first started 26 years ago. And we've maintained that uh, rivalry and relationship with them. And it's been a very positive one. And uh, Coach, Smith, Coach Smith has built, you know, an outstanding program at Gateway. Uh, this year he has an outstanding team. And, you know, uh, it's another rivalry game for us and, you know, great opportunity. We know Gateway always has some great athletes, but talk about specifically what we should look for from Gateway. You know what, Adam? I think in the WPL, they, they don't have a weak spot. You know, I think North Allegheny uh, and Gateway, Upper St. Clair, Seneca, Mount Lebanon, those teams don't have any weak spots. They have experienced players at all the positions. They have size. Uh, Gateway probably has the most speed of anybody in WPIL. They're strong at the quarterback position. He's going to uh, University of Arizona with Coach Rodriguez. So they're strong at the linebacker position. Parrish is going to uh, University of Pittsburgh. They have a number of other players. Their secondary uh, is rated as the top secondary in the country. And uh, they got a lot of speed there. They've got a lot of size, too. And uh, on both sides of the line, they have three or four 300 pound players that have been around for. This is their third or fourth year on the team, so they're all very good players. They're, they're big and strong and fast, and they're good at every position. They're probably the biggest linebackers in the WPL. They have three linebackers that are outstanding players. Uh, you know, it's, it's going to be a big challenge for them. Talk about being able to play in a stadium that's not that far away. I know some of the teams in Quad A have to make kind of a trip for their neutral site games, but both Woodland Hills and Gateway only have to travel down Route 30 to play at Norwood. Yeah, we were fortunate that uh, the Northern School District, Randy Rubesti, their athletic director, who I've been a friend of with for since 26 years ago when we first merged, he was the head football coach at Norman. and we've had some great games with them, and, you know, they were uh, amicable to host a game, and, you know, it's a nice stadium, big stadium. Uh, it's a modern stadium, great press box, great facilities out there. You know, it's, it's, it's a nice venue to play this game at, and, uh, you know, we should have a nice crowd because it is a big robbery. And, you know, two good football teams. Coach, I'd be remiss if I didn't mention Lusaka Plight the way he introduced himself on Sunday Night Football. Yeah, I'm, you know, I'm so proud of all our guys in the NFL. Lusaka is one of my all-time favorites from Woodland Hills, just the way he handles himself. And, you know, when uh, whenever they mention Woodland Hills, I get tear, tears in my eyes. He's just, uh, you know, an outstanding young man and, you know, one of the finest young men I've ever, ever coached in football in my whole career. Well, Coach, before we wrap it up, let's talk about some of the other teams that remain in the Quad A playoffs. Of course, uh, Upper St. Clair may be around the corner for a rematch in the semifinals, but there's a lot of great teams all around the WPIAL still remaining. Yeah, when you get down to the final eight, it's unbelievable, the competition, because a lot of teams have developed. You know, of course, North Allegheny is a front runner, but they're going to host uh, or play host. They'll be the home team against uh, Bethel Park, and Bethel's really played well and got better every week since we played them. And they're going to be a, a tough tough game for uh, North Allegheny. Of course, we're playing number two seed gateway, and that's a rivalry, and it's a big challenge for our guys, and should be a great game Friday night. Uh, on the other part of our bracket is Upper St. Clair, and they'll be the home team, but they'll play uh, Central Catholic, who's gotten better, and their playoff experience over the past is going to help them out. So. That'll be a great football game. And I, I think the, the best football game might be, uh, other than ours, would be Seneca Valley in Mount Lebanon. Two great football teams, two great programs. And, uh, you know, up, uh, Mount Lebanon is just strong, big, strong team, strong on offense and defense. Great quarterback, great receivers. Seneca Valley is a wide open offense. Uh, very impressed with them. Uh, I've seen several of their games on film this year, and I'm, I'm very impressed with them. Seneca Valley and defensively they played well too so you know all four games are going to be great games and uh, we'll see who makes it to the final four.
Well, Coach, we hope to talk to you before those semifinals next week, but of course we wish you the best of luck this week against the Gateway Gators. We're going to take a quick break when we return. More of the pregame show right here on the Woodland Hills Football Network. Again, fans, we thank you for joining us for this WPIAL quarterfinal edition of the Woodland Hills Football Network pregame show. As always, our game can be heard live on the radio on AM 1550 WLFP, on the web at woodlandhillsfootballnetwork.com with the stream courtesy of msasports.net. We'll have live cable radio coverage on Monroeville Comcast Cable Channel 13, Penn Hills Comcast Cable Channel 98, and Verizon Fios Channel 37. And as always, we'll have video replays on all of our television affiliates. For everybody at Woodland Hills Television, I'm Adam Gusky, and we hope to talk to you again next week. Taking yourselves.